There's a lot of buzz out there in the automotive industry. The financial struggles of Chevrolet dealerships in the U.S. in 2024. Chevrolet has been a cornerstone of the American automotive landscape for decades, but even this iconic brand is facing challenges. Chevy dealerships are struggling financially, and today... I share with you how many of these dealerships are hurting, which are in danger of closing, and which vehicles are proving hardest to sell. The latest numbers as of this recording here in 2024 are 12 to 15 percent of Chevrolet dealerships across the U.S. experiencing financial difficulties. With about 3,000 dealerships nationwide, that translates to about 360 to 450 dealerships struggling to maintain profitability. Factors contributing to these struggles include rising operating costs, high inventory levels, and evolving consumer preferences. According to the National Automotive Dealers Association, Chevrolet, which is known for its popular trucks and SUVs, is facing economic pressures and changing market dynamics. Despite its strong brand presence, these issues are creating financial strain for many dealerships, making it challenging to attract enough buyers and to maintain a steady cash flow. We can look to several key factors contributing to their financial struggles, and they are the following. Number one, rising interest rates, which nobody's immune to. No manufacturer, no dealership. Higher interest rates have made auto loans more expensive reducing consumer purchasing power. This has led many buyers to delay buying a new vehicle, hanging on their old vehicle instead, resulting in lower sales volumes. According to the Federal Reserve, interest rates have increased by about 2% over the past year, making financing new cars more costly. Then there's increased competition. The auto industry is highly competitive, with Chevrolet facing strong competition from both domestic and international brands. Competitors are offering aggressive pricing, advanced technology, and EV options, making it harder for Chevrolet to attract new customers. And then there's inventory management. High inventory levels are a significant challenge for Chevrolet dealerships, particularly for certain slow-selling models, which I'll talk about here in a moment. Excess inventory ties up capital, increases carrying costs, further straining dealership financings. A report by Cox Automotive indicates that Chevrolet dealerships have an average of 110 to 120 days supply of vehicles compared to the industry standard average of 60 to 75. These factors are creating a challenging environment for Chevy dealerships. With high inventory levels and slower sales cycles, dealerships face cash flow issues, making it difficult to cover operating expenses and remain profitable. All right, a closer look at the specific models that are proving difficult to sell and contributing to their stress at these dealerships. Number one, the Malibu. Despite its reputation as a reliable mid-size sedan, the Malibu has seen a decline in sales as consumer preferences are shifting towards SUVs and crossovers. Sales have dropped by about 20% year over year, and with more than 25,000 units still sitting on dealership lots, that's a problem. The sedan market has been shrinking, and the Malibu is struggling to compete. Then you have the Trax. A subcompact SUV has faced some stiff competition in its segment, Sales have decreased by about 18% compared to the previous year. The Trax's older design and lack of advanced features make it less appealing compared to the newer subcompact SUVs in the market. The Spark, Chevrolet's subcompact car, has seen sales decline by about 15%, despite being one of the most affordable cars still available. The Spark is struggling as consumers gravitate towards larger vehicles with more features and capabilities. Inventory levels remain high, and dealerships are finding it challenging to move these tiny vehicles. This might surprise you, the Colorado, a mid-size pickup truck, has experienced some slowdown in sales, a decline of around 12% year over year. While still popular, yes, the Colorado faces competition from other mid-size trucks offering more features, better technology, which is impacting its sales. Lastly, the Chevrolet Bolt EV. Although electric vehicles are gaining popularity, this one has seen slower sales compared to other EV models. Sales are down by about 10%. As the market is becoming more competitive with newer entrants, offering lower, longer ranges, better features, and more appealing designs. According to the folks over at JD Power and Good Car, Bad Car, these slow-selling models are tying up dealership resources, making it harder to invest in more popular vehicles or new inventory. The slow turnover is a significant factor behind the financial strain that many of these Chevy dealerships are experiencing. These money problems have raised concerns about potential dealership closures. Industry analysts estimate that if conditions don't improve for Chevy, up to 6 to 8% of their dealerships could face closures within the next one to two years. This would mean roughly 180 to 240 dealerships shutting their doors permanently, affecting jobs and local economies. According to the National Automotive Dealers Association, closures are more likely to impact smaller 
independently owned dealerships that lack the financial cushion to withstand prolonged periods of low sales. Larger dealership groups may also choose to consolidate their operations, closing their underperforming locations to reduce their costs. The financial struggles of these dealerships have broader implications for the Chevy brand. When dealerships struggle, it affects brand perception, customer satisfaction, and ultimately sales across the board. If this trend continues, it could lead to dealership closures, reduced market presence, and challenges in launching new models. To combat these issues, Chevy needs to be proactive, taking positive steps forward. This could include offering more attractive financing options, better marketing support, incentives to help dealerships clear out slow moving inventory. Also accelerating the rollout of EVs and other advanced technologies will be crucial in order to meet consumer demand and regain some kind of market momentum. The key for Chevrolet moving forward is adaptability. Dealers need to focus on managing their inventory effectively, or at least more effectively, promoting models that are in high demand, working closely with Chevy to offer competitive pricing and financing. It's a challenging time, yes, but with the right strategies, Chevrolet can continue to be a leader in the automotive market for years to come. If Chevy can successfully navigate these challenging times by leveraging its strong brand identity and investing in innovation, it can most likely maintain its position as one of the top automakers in the country and the world. However, this will require an effort from both the manufacturer and the dealerships here in the U.S. to align their strategies and to meet the evolving needs of consumers nationwide. What do you think? Will these Chevrolet dealerships bounce back? Or are we seeing the start of a bigger shift in the automotive landscape? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If and when you're in the market for a new or used car, you should take a minute and visit quotes.everymandriver.com. You'll find the lowest advertised prices in your city and state from pre-qualified dealerships. Start with a make, model, and zip code. If you don't find what you're looking for in your zip code, simply expand that zip code. Be willing to travel a few miles outside your area. You could save a few hundred or a few thousand dollars on your next new or used vehicle. Start by typing in quotes everymandriver.com. There's also a direct link below this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with the latest insights from the automotive world. Hope to see you next time. Today's video is brought to you by The Cold Plunge. Use discount code DAVE150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com. Immediately save $150 off your purchase. That's DAVE150 at thecoldplunge.com. There's also a link below this video.